Hey there. I want to tell you about why most of my clients come to me in search of homeopathy in a better way. So often when people come to me, they say they've tried everything. So they have tried vitamins, supplements, herbs, essential oils, diets, programs, um, all of these drinks and all of this stuff is that you know has they've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on and it didn't work so most people that come to me have already tried everything they're like you're my last hope there's nothing else so I no pressure right there's no pressure on me to be if I'm their last hope but it it just tends to to be that way because homeopathy while it has grown tremendously in the last several years it it's still there it's widely unknown I mean a lot of people don't know about it or a lot of people think that homeopathy is quackery or um, placebo effect so a lot of people just don't even believe that it works as people have experimented and tried all the things you know they've been to their doctor their doctor couldn't help you know their doctors ran out of options um, or all they could offer was a medication and and my client didn't want to take any more medication and then they tried all these other things that cost thousands of dollars then they find homeopathy and the results often are completely amazing um, I have seen eczema uprooted after being suppressed for years with steroidal creams um, and I mean allergies, hay fever, mental emotional conditions. I've seen people come off of their bipolar medications. I've seen people come off of their antidepressants and anti-anxiety medications. Um, you know chronic UTIs, heartburn, you name it. Every condition can be addressed with homeopathy and every person can be helped with homeopathy to some degree. So to what degree each person can be helped depends on the person, how old they are and how long they've been suppressing this condition. So every time we suppress a condition, we're pushing the pathology deeper into the, to the um, system. Therefore, the body has to express it in some other way. Hey there, I am so excited to let you know that my Introduction to Homeopathy course is available right now for free. You can go get an instant download and learn the basics of homeopathy, what you need to get started, how to purchase remedies, where to purchase remedies, some protocols to help you right away, and the do's and don'ts around homeopathy, and just a lot of definitions. Really, a, it'll give you a good firm foundation for what homeopathy is and what it is not. I hope you'll join me. Then it looks like a new condition, so you go to your doctor, and the doctor says, oh, well now you have uh, high blood pressure, you know, you've been on this medicine, so it may not necessarily be a side effect of the, the first medicine. Let me, let me lay out a timeline for you. Let's say you have chronic strep throat or ear infections as a child. You go to the doctor, you get an antibiotic every time. Each antibiotic destroys your gut more and more and it causes food intolerances or chronic constipation. So you go to your doctor again and you say, um, you know, you've got this chronic constipation. Or if you figure out on your own that you have, you're intolerant to gluten or dairy, then you cut those foods out and that's not the cure. So you go to the doctor and he gives you um, a medicine for constipation. So then you're on that medicine for however long and years later, so now you've suppressed all of those ear infections, strep throat, then you suppress the constipation and your body needs to express itself another way because you keep pushing the pathology deeper into the system. So then you end up with, then you're diagnosed with IBS and you get a different medication. 
you've suppressed some more. Then you, you, you know, you go to the doctor again years later, you've got high cholesterol, high blood pressure. All of these are symptoms of a deeper problem, a deeper issue. And so I have seen people come off of their high blood pressure medications and um, I've helped diabetics. I mean, the list, like I said, just goes on and on. There's really no limit to what homeopathy can address in a person. And then to what degree means, you know, that a person can be helped means that the longer you've been suppressing that condition, the longer it's going to take for it to be uprooted. And then late, late in life, we might see that it, it actually doesn't get uprooted, but we can stop the progression. So, you know, you might be thinking like Alzheimer's or dementia. I've helped people stop the progression of those things. And so homeopathy, people come to it as a last resort or because they just found it. Um, I see it, I see it help hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people and it can help you too.